Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the Basara, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Hamashiach died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Kepha, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of Yaakov, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the called-out assembly of Yahweh. But by the grace of Yah, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of Yah which was within me, rather with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now, if Hamashiach be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Hamashiach not risen. And if Hamashiach be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your belief is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of Yah, because we have testified of Yahweh that he raised up Hamashiach, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead not rise. Rather, dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Hamashiach raised. And if Hamashiach be not raised, your belief is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then also, rather than they also which are fallen asleep in Hamashiach are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Hamashiach, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Hamashiach risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order. Hamashiach, the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Hamashiachs at his coming. Then comes the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even the Father when he shall have put down all rule and authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, for he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that puts all, rather, that put all things under him, that Yahweh may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are immersed for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then immersed for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing which I have in Yahusha HaMashiach, our Adonai, 
I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what does it advantage me if the dead rise not? Let us drink, rather eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, How are they, rather, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? You fool! That which you sow is not quickened except it die. And that which you sow, you sow not that body that shall be, but bore grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But Yah gives it a body as it has pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening ruach. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is Yahusha from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we also, rather we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit eth the kingdom of Yahweh. Neither does corruption eth inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the shofar shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Sheol, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the sting Strength of sin is the Torah. But thanks be to Yahweh, which gives us the victory through our Adonai, Yahusha, HaMashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in Yahweh.